Hello, it's from uh, Skavdarn again. Here's my new setup with this uh, power inverter, 2000 watt. have uh, two of them. So, but uh, they are working uh, <laughs> very strange. They are uh, pushing uh, the wind turbine on a very low speed. Uh, you have, uh, so there it's uh, six point, uh, was uh, five meters. Yes, six hundred fifty watt. Six meters each second. This, uh, they also have this MPPT controller. And uh, the strange is that we have uh, AC. If I measure here now, I have very low voltage. It's 18. Oh, no, it's uh, very low. Yeah. 18, 17 volt. And these inverters can go up to 60. They're from 22. To uh, 60 volt. So uh, it's uh, strange. This is the AC voltage, you see. But I have uh, on this this uh, watt readings now. I have on the uh, solar panel. So my DC voltage is higher, of course. They are pushing... Uh, see? That is uh, correct. 22. That was the inverter. It's uh, charging up. But I have a lot of kilowatt hours. When I do this, I add this uh, yeah, you see here. I have the 250 watt solar panels with uh, outside here. Ah, you can't see it through the window. But it's uh, the wind turbine is uh, running at a very low speed, and I'm making a lot of kilowatt. You can see it there. And uh, the kilowatt measuring is uh, correct. I have the tested it. Now it's only 200 watt. I just made myself uh, one uh, connection here. <laughs> Temporary. It will go into one uh, locker. Earlier today, I see one 
was above 1000 watt. And this is uh, working very fine. But uh, in uh, a hurricane, I won't uh, use this. Then I will use this. I have ordered two more of these. I will connect them here. Two more. That will be good. Because my theory is uh, that uh, these two inverters, inverters will uh, drain out, uh, will drag out all, all the uh, amps before this uh, can take the, the, the high voltage and the, the high amp that uh, these two I don't think can do. <laughs> if we have, uh, we have uh, very heavy winds here sometimes. So uh, that's why I ha need this for safety. So that's my, uh, <laughs> my plan. <laughs> I also will hook up this to one uh, contactor. I also tested this solution. I have been uh, running running uh, automatically this uh, parallel and uh, ser serial connection of the, the dual PMA. So it's not so easy to see, but uh, yeah, I've used uh, these two contactors. This is 24 for uh, <laughs> safety. Uh, this uh, is powered uh, was powered from um, uh, the batteries. And this is 230. This is 100 amp. This is uh, 60 amp. And uh, these two. Uh, th this one I connected two cables. <laughs> So that, then I have a uh, hundred and twenty amp. <laughs> yeah, I did, did just uh, use only one. Uh, I uh, triggered them with this uh, voltage card. But uh, the problem was uh, that uh, I get these uh, spikes. So uh, uh, I was trying to to use this. Uh, Condensator 150 volt. <laughs> Hi, 1450 volt. It's capable of with the 40 few plus minus to, to take off these uh, spikes when I switch from par parallel to serial connection. It was a funny project, but uh, when I get these spikes, when they switch, the charge controller was uh, starting dumping. <laughs> so uh, this uh, didn't work. So now I'm going to take this one and use for this low wind, and uh, then we'll, this will charge uh, uh, and the wind turbine will start charging this grid tie inverter, yeah. Uh, now I just do it manually, I do it like this. Now this uh, wind turbine will slow down to 14 volt. 14 to 28 volt is this one. Yeah. So that's my plan. <laughs> Okay, here I, I have uh, followed uh, Jeff's advice. Please put some metal plates, he said <laughs> on uh, one of his uh, videos. I think that's uh, a good idea. <laughs> so the, bur uh, the wood won't burn. So thank you, Jeff, for uh, the advice. Okay. 
I also have this uh, new battery pack. Uh, it's a lot of stuff on top here now. So. Uh, eight batteries, yeah. And uh, because uh, last week we had uh, 24 minus here on my batteries. Uh, I have uh, broken four batteries because of the cold here in Norway. It was uh, 24 degree minus Celsius. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye.